All right, so I'm back in the park that I was at when I was here before. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, to to discuss some things that I had discussed previously, and sort of you know I, I got I got time off of work, so I'm just I'm looking for stuff to do. Let's be honest here. In a previous video, I discussed sort of the differences between using uh, telephoto lenses and wide-angle lenses, and the different applications of the two. And so I wanted to sort of dive into that a little bit more. I watched two movies recently that I felt were two very interesting uh, examples of each. Uh, one was a film I actually just watched yesterday, uh, A Ghost Story, which I, I don't even know how to describe this movie. It's very bizarre. The movie had a great use of a lot of just like, camera just kind of locked off on a tripod, wide angle shot, and the director just kind of allowed things to just happen within the scene, and I thought that was really interesting. And I watched another film, uh, Lynn Ramsey's film, um, You Were Never Really Here. The opening shots of that movie, it's all just a lot of like close-ups of things. And I thought it was really interesting and disorienting, and compared to a ghost story, there's lots of different cuts, and the, the pacing of the scene was very different. And so I kind of wanted to do something, not similar, but I wanted to shoot the same exact scene, and do it once with a wide angle lens, just set up on a tripod, let things happen in the scene, and then do it again instead with all close ups. And so I did that. So the scene is, it's pointless. It doesn't matter what it is. He was a banjo player who had a crazy night and now he's waking up like the hangover, wondering what, what happened. So I shot it twice in two different lenses. One, the lens that I have now, the Makey 25 millimeter, and then I shot it again on the Canon 55mm f1.2, which is a nice old vintage lens that I bought recently. Uh, so now watch the, the first one, the wide angle one, or else. Uh, obviously, I didn't put any real effort into lighting or anything like that. I just ran through this really quickly, but there are things I like about shooting like this. I like being able to just set up a tripod. I had to really close down the aperture to try and get as much in focus as possible because I had no one there to adjust the focus. I think with like good framing and composition, you know, it still narrows down the audience's focus. I tried to keep it through doorways and things like that, just enough to see like, oh, this is where the character is. This is what he's doing, but it still had that drawback of, oh, look at all these other things in the scene, like this is the messy apartment, and it's not, again, it's not well lit, I just used the natural, you know, afternoon lighting. But there was something rewarding about just kind of letting a take just kind of run its course and kind of breathe a little bit, which I feel like I don't really do often, because I'm sure I've been doing this, I've probably been cutting a million times because I don't know how to string a sentence together. All right, sure, yeah, why not? Apparently my video decided to stop recording halfway through that. Then next we'll do the close-up. So just, you know, go ahead and watch that.
Osborne? Osborne Cox? Yes. So this one was immediately different. Um, I think when I was doing the close-up shots, for whatever reason, it just made me want to kind of eliminate all the fat. I am now a fat burning machine. And the breathing room from the other versions of the shots. And I mean, it's possible that I did that because I had already done the wide angle shots beforehand and it sort of influenced my, uh, my editing, I don't know. Whereas in the wide angle shot, you watch the character walk through and you watched him interact with the room and you know get to the end and then answer the phone call whereas in this close-up version I felt like all I wanted to focus on was the sort of the beats the places where he stops the things that he interacts with and just focus on those you know sort of just string the story together with as little information as possible only focusing on what's important in the shots and they're just two completely different approaches I don't know if I have a preference maybe I like the wide angle better I mean not mine not mine I think I think it kind of looked like garbage but I think in general I think I like the idea of just setting up a camera letting things happen in the scene rather than the camera constantly telling me like, look at this thing, look at this thing, look at this thing. And editing the, um, the close-up version, I just, everything just felt so quick. You know, based on my influences and like who want, what kind of movies I like, I don't think that's really my style. I don't think I'm kind of a, uh, look at this thing now, quick, hurry, and then look over here at this thing kind of director. Like, I mean, of course, I'm still coming into my own style and we'll see how much that changes over the course of making the movie that I'm working on. And so going back to the two movies that made me, you know, think of this experiment, I'd recommend anybody go check both of them out, but they're both really weird. So yeah, you gotta be, you gotta know what you're in for. Watching both films, I noticed the, uh, the style right away. I noticed obviously a ghost story, you know, very just long drawn out shots. There's a nine minute scene of Rooney Mara eating pie. Uh, you Were Never Really Here didn't really stick with the close-ups constantly for the rest of the movie. That was just kind of the opening. But I think they're both very effective for what they were both trying to accomplish. Whatever I filmed, was it effective for what it tried to accomplish? Well, I don't really think you can say without, you know, a story surrounding the little scene that I made. I guess for going for like this little backstory that I came up with, maybe the wide angle was a little bit more effective if, you know, I did a better job of it. It was just a little experiment, something to do. I mean, when, how am I going to close this? I never know how to close these videos. I feel like I always want to just...